So here we are again. Um, did some recordings earlier today. And here we are with the brace as it is. Um, I apologize for the kind of the angle and not being able to capture things well. I didn't want to do this in portrait mode since I know that annoys a lot of people. Um, but what I'm going to try to do is unlock the brace. It's still got restrictions on how much extension and flexion I can do, but it should let me move within that range as tolerated. So I'm going to basically just uh, release little locking tabs on either side. Before I do that, you might be able to see, rotate this out. So that is suggesting that if you look at this um, little tab right here, should be limiting my extension to about zero degrees, right? Or thereabouts, almost. If you look at the knee, it doesn't look like it's totally straight. It looks close, but not completely. Now, some of that could be just an illusion because of all the padding and the swelling and, you know, everything is kind of fluffing up this area here. But you have that, and then on the flexion side, you'll notice there's a limit there for, uh, what, 110, 120 degrees? I'm looking at a weird angle, so I can't really tell. But, so there's a certain amount of extension and flexion that I think they ultimately want me to get. Um, I should be able to get past 120 once I'm fully recovered, but uh, 120 is, from what I've heard, a target sort of uh, range. This here is the locking tab, so I'm just gonna pull this back. That's one. Do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And now you can actually see the mechanism in here moving just a bit, getting a few degrees of flexion. So what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna back up a bit so you can see more of it. Taking my hand underneath the knee and gently kind of lifting underneath it giving myself a little bit of flexion, just a couple degrees. And for me, that actually gives some relief because this thing has been stiff. It's been basically locked in this nearly straight position since I was, well, since I got off the operating table, really. So I'm going to be doing some of this and slowly I can engage my hamstring and try to pull my heel back and then go back down. Let's see if I can get this from the side. So again, not getting a lot of motion. It's very stiff and it does hurt, <laughs> but we're getting something. And now I'm using my left hand here to support it. Um, actively contracting my quad is difficult right now because there's a split in my patellar tendon. It doesn't feel good uh, trying to cause that to yank on the bone. So this is a maybe 60-40 or even 70-30 passive to active. I'm trying to use a little bit of my, when I'm coming into flexion, using my hamstring a bit. So there we go. I'm getting a few degrees now. You can see there's more of a bend. Back down. And I think as I wake this back up, it'll be all right. So I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes and then rest and I might need to ice it some more. I got a nice pack in the fridge or in the freezer. But this is kind of the extent of what I can do today. Granted, this is just two days post-op. I'm still doing my little ankle pump things. And now there's a gap underneath here. I can see if I can hold my leg up without using my hand, but I don't think it's going to work. No, I, I don't have the strength there yet. Uh, so we'll see. And again, as you can see, we've got one, two, right below the knee, three above the knee, four. This last strap here is up around kind of like my mid to upper mid thigh. Uh, so this thing is locked in pretty well. But I'm letting it move a little bit right now since I'm not weight bearing. Once I go back to walking, I'm going to lock this thing again because I am not ready for that kind of motion uh, with load on the joint, with at least weight-bearing loads on the joint. So there we are. I'll be tracking my progress. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to have a decent amount of motion by the time I go to the PT and do my, my follow-up. So we'll see. Anyway, oh, covering up the thing there. There you are. Until next time.